what's up y'all it is day one of a three day I'm heading to the airport now um, I have two flights today I go from Chicago to somewhere and then somewhere to um, Raleigh Durham North Carolina uh, let me see I go to Denver so I go from Chicago to Denver I have like three hour ground time and then I go from Denver all the way to Raleigh so today is well should be an easy day because I only have two flights today is actually the second i'll be coming home on the fourth of july at like 8 30 so i'll still be able to get like a plate of barbecue but i think i just may miss the fireworks i think i will it started at 9 30. oh the fireworks yeah. ah yay okay so maybe i won't miss the fireworks fingers crossed i can get back like nothing happens so we're just gonna speak all that positivity in the air no delays no nothing Gigi wants to speak again Hello. So, um, we were babysitting this weekend. No, I was babysitting. Okay, my mom was babysitting this weekend. I love my Gigi. <laughs> and Gigi is here. Um, Gigi is on summer vacation, so she'll probably be in a lot of my vlogs, actually. But I'm starving. Headed to the airport. I'm wondering if I should get something before the airport, or maybe when I get to the airport. You don't have enough time. I guess I don't have enough time. Mm. But I'm starving. I'm gonna get something in the airport, but... <laughs> I'll see you guys when I get there. Say bye, Gigi. Bye-bye. I just finished eating my salad from Pegasus. I got a gyro salad with no cheese, of course, and no onion. And now I am checking my equipment before we start boarding. We're heading over to Denver. Flight time is a little over two hours. <laughs> And um, I think if there's a full boat going all the way over there, I have to double check. But it is a snack flight. So we're going to serve, we're going to serve more than just peanuts and pretzels. Um, all right, equipment looks good. So we're just going to wait on um, our other crew members and then get the over to Denver. You guys, we made it to Denver. We now have about three hour ground time because we came in early, but we're in Denver. My coworkers and I are gonna go to the crew lounge and hang out for a bit, maybe get some Z's in before we head over to North Carolina. But as of now, we're going to the crew lounge. Okie doke. All right, give me a nice little lazy boy, take off my shoes. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here and do my bed and I'm Oh, here? I wouldn't have never left the lounge this early if I would have known we were this close to the gate. We're going out of C41 and it's right here. It's right here. Now I gotta find my coworkers. Guys, I'm hot and sweaty, but we are all done in North Carolina. I know y'all sick of this overnight. Like I literally always have a Raleigh Durham overnight. I don't know why. Say hey. <laughs> but um, yeah, I like have the most Raleigh overnight. Goodness gracious. But um, I'm back again. I actually like this hotel and I like this overnight, so I'm gonna pick them up as often as I can. I'm blurry. There we go. All right, now I'm not blurry anymore. But it is hot. It's hell in North Carolina, per usual. Uh, my hotel, again, is not too far from the airport, so that's a plus. But I would remember telling you guys that this hotel does like a cute little scratch out raffle. Get a free salad, sandwich, breakfast. Hopefully, I can get my free breakfast. I'm actually hungry tonight, so if I can get a free dinner, that would be even better. Into the hotel. LED mirror, because it's Raleigh Durham, and we got a really nice hotel here. Look at the shower, real fancy. Um, what we got here? We got the closet. And someone had asked me, why do I check for the crazies? 
the reason I check for the crazies is because it's common sense. Like when you walk in a hotel room, like anything, anybody could be in here. So it's best for me to go ahead and check it before I get in here and settle to make sure that no one's in my hotel room. Like I've heard, I have not experienced any, but I've heard like horror stories where people have been like, um, people have gotten a room that was, um, had somebody sleeping in it, had a man sitting on the bed waiting on them. Like it's a lot of creepy stuff that um, has happened and I try to prevent that for, you know, well, I guess I try to prevent that by checking for the crazies. So that's what I do. And it's pretty boring, but I'm just really excited for this sexy bathroom. I love taking a shower in these type of um, bathrooms because it's just so, so fancy. Y'all look at me. Look at my uniform. What does it look like I work? Does it look like I'm a flight attendant or something else? Leave your comments below. <laughs> and while you're at it, go ahead, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And follow me on Instagram. It's in the bio. And I'm going to actually add it on the screen now. Follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page. So this is what I threw on. I go downstairs and hang out with my crew. Just a little dress from Tarja. Good morning from Raleigh. I'm gonna get these blinds open and get some sun. Ooh, maybe a little too much sun. There we go, good morning. Literally just woke up. It is 11 o'clock, but it's, well I didn't just wake up, I've been up for like maybe 30 minutes. But it's almost 11 o'clock and it's actually 10 o'clock back at home. I was gonna go down for breakfast, but time kept getting away. And I actually had a free breakfast too. I woke up like so thirsty. I had the front desk bring me some water. I was so thirsty. Um, we have two flights today. We have one to Baltimore and then Baltimore to Fort Lauderdale. We get in at like eight o'clock Fort Lauderdale time. It's amazing because I love the hotel that we stay at there. I got my bikini pack because I'm ready to lay out by the beach. But I'm actually going to London at the end of the month for my birthday as well. So that was kind of what my main focus was. Like, you know, yeah, I'm gonna do something at home with my family and friends. But the end of the month is what I was really planning for because I'm going to London. I have vacation at the end of the month and I'm going to London. So I'm really excited about that. I woke up late and I have no choice but to skip breakfast. And I'm gonna just go downstairs when it's time to go to the airport. We don't have to be down there until three. I'm not really hungry. This water is like really doing the trick. So I'm gonna just eat before I go to the airport. And plus, today's a short day. Like it's only a five hour day. Normally, you know, we work those 12 hour days. <laughs> 12 hour days, you know, we just love those over here, flight attending. But um, today is a five hour day. So I'm here for it. I'm excited, I'm looking forward to it. We get done at a reasonable time. I'm excited, days like these are rare but I'm happy about it. I'm gonna just go to the airport and eat or I think I'm gonna grab a sandwich from downstairs but it's gonna be all around the time that I have to go downstairs because time is like flying. I think I'm gonna spend the next hour like shopping online to try and find an outfit. Like this is so stressful. And then I try to ask for opinions and people are like, oh, I love this one. Oh, I don't like that one. So the one that I'm liking, they don't like. And the one that they like, I don't like. So I'm just like, you know what? You can't add opinions to the mix. Like, let that be, let that be. You just do you, just do you. And people are gonna love it. Cause opinions like ruin everything. Oh my God. I really just came on here to tell you guys. <laughs> Good morning. And I guess I can show you my view because I didn't show you guys yesterday. I guess last night. It's real sunny out here. <sighs> oh, the clouds look gorgeous. Look like cotton candy. Just want to take it out the sky and bite it, huh? So you guys, I ended up getting a salad um, from the hotel that we stayed at. They, you know, the raffle, I wanted the free salad. So I ate that salad when I got to the airport. We were like 50 minutes early at the airport. We had one flight over to 
Baltimore. So now we're in Baltimore. We have a little bit of ground time, so that's why I'm recording with you guys. And then from Baltimore, we're gonna take a um, about a two hour, two and a half hour flight over to Fort Lauderdale. So today is a great day because it's an easy day, very easy day. Um, but we'll get there. Yeah. So they got off. Yeah. Hey, how are you? But yeah, it is so hot in Baltimore. It's so hot in Raleigh. It is just so hot everywhere. Oh my gosh, I need some air. And um, we just got Provo. We just got our new pilots. The pilots that we had coming here, they're actually going to Phoenix, not Fort Lauderdale. They were awesome. We actually had them all day yesterday, and then we had them one place today. Which is cool. So um, yeah, we got new pilots. They're getting all settled in. The flight crew, uh, well, my coworkers, the flight attendants actually got off to get something to eat. So we're just hanging out here up until we have to board. All right, guys, we've made it to Fort Lauderdale, and I'm back at my favorite, favorite, favorite hotel. So we're here in Fort Lauderdale. We don't have that much time here, but just enough to get something to eat and hang out with the other crews that are here. It's a lot of us. We're in here deep. So, so I told you guys this is my favorite hotel, and it's just it's. Just a beautiful hotel and a wonderful location. But before I show you guys anything, first things first, we're gonna check for the crazies. All right, no one's in there, thank goodness. But okay, let's start from the beginning. Let me get some light in here. All right. Now look at how elegant this hotel is. So we have this huge walkway, probably because it's a corner room. But then this is the bathroom. <laughs> bathroom we got the toilet here we have the shower oh my god i've been doing a damn thing with these two hotels these two overnights we got one bed and then the view you can't really see right now all right so um i'm going to change out of these clothes put on something more comfortable and i'm going to go downstairs to the hotel restaurant because i'm starving oh my gosh but i'll see you guys in a little bit ready to head downstairs I just had to get back on camera to tell you guys that it took me over an hour. I'm like, where is it? Like, I need to cut it off because I'm ready to go to bed. Like, where, where is it? Where is it? Could not find it. And I ended up having to call downstairs. And look, it's this little button right here. Look. And it cuts it off. Isn't that crazy? I would have never have found that. It's like thunderstorm storming here in um, Fort Lauderdale. And I'm kind of scared. So I'm just going to go to sleep. Cause I am tired, but that light like pissed me off. Like it's been, <laughs> it took me like an hour, but it is 1 a.m. I need to go to sleep because I gotta wake up in a couple of hours so I can head home for the 4th of July. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Good morning from Fort Lauderdale. Before I get in the shower, I didn't get to show you guys my view last night. So of course I'm gonna show you right now. Now, let's get this curtain out the way. Look at this, you guys. Fort Lauderdale is beautiful. That's, yep, that's a beach. I'm here until 11. Thank you. And then, I have two windows, actually. Look, y'all, they showing out in Fort Lauderdale. I hate how you can see the glare, but you can still obviously see the beach too. And the palm trees, isn't this gorgeous? Look at this. Too bad I gotta get up, get dressed, and get out of here. But let me go ahead and close these um, blinds because it's hella people out there. And hella people can see your girl getting dressed. Let me go ahead and close this because my goodies aren't for everyone. But all right, y'all, I'm finna get dressed and I'll see you. All dressed, ready for work in this little light though. Like I just had to stop and say what's up over here in this lighting. And I have to say goodbye to my lovely view. I'm so sad. You guys, I didn't even get a chance to go to the beach today. Like literally I had to get up, get dressed, and I'm heading downstairs. You know, I got the famous five minutes. <laughs> But you guys, I'm heading to work. We're actually going to um, Punta Cana. But we don't get to stay. We're dropping passengers off and taking that five hour flight back home to Chicago. So much fun, right? So much fun. What a tease. But it's all good. It is all good. I'm just happy 
that I get to come home today because it is the 4th of July. My people are barbecuing, my friends are barbecuing. I just wanna be in the city, I know it's a good time. I missed the fireworks last night though by, um, well actually, because of my community, they were um, having like a pretty cool fireworks show. Normally they have it at my old high school, but this year they went all out. They had um, funnel cakes, alcohol, um, it was just people everywhere. It was a really good time, but I missed out on that. My sister, Gigi, and my mom went, and I should have been there, but I couldn't because I was um, working and bringing passengers to their destinations. But it is okay, because I get home today and I get to see my family, eat some good barbecue, and see some fireworks. So I'm like, I walk into the van and I see all of these people in like and have bikinis out by the pool, drinking, uh, that most of margaritas having a good time. I'm like, mm -hmm, must be nice to be in a bikini. Well, I head to the airport, but we are waiting on one more crew member and then we'll head off. It is so hot here, goodness gracious. You guys, I've made it home just in time for the 4th of July. I'm in my room, I'm about to change my clothes. There is food to eat. We're about to watch the fireworks just in time for the holiday. This vlog has come to an end. So you guys know the drill. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.